So it's me, your boy Kiss. I'm saying, you know, the world we are living today, sometimes we need to be careful whom we call our friend. You know, <laughs> you know, someone whom they have not teach a lesson, someone whom friends have never taught a lesson. We said all friends are friends. Believe me, believe what I'm about to say. Some friends around you are not your friend, but they are against you. Yes, some friends, some people you call your friends, some people you call your what your friends, your neighbors, your relative, your parents, your uncles, anything that you can call them. Believe me, majority of them are against your growth. Majority of them are against your greatness. You know what I'm saying? So it's not everyone that is around you want you to be more successful than them. You know, the worst enemy so far is not enemy whom you know. Because the enemy you know is the enemy you can handle. Is the enemy you can do what you can hidden yourself. You can know what to say. You can know what to eat. You can know what the type or the time you can communicate with him. You can know the certain things you can do with him. But the worst enemy is not also a stranger. Yes. But the worst enemy is an enemy who eat with you. Who drink with you. Who you share your news to. Who you give all your information. Thinking that they are with you. Not knowing they are against you. That is the, for, the, what, the worst enemy. They will be the one that will kill you secretly. And they will still come in your back. And be telling you how to solve those problems. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? They will be the one that will plot that problem. They will be the one that will lead you to a point where you will feel like giving up. They will be the one that will plot evil against you. When I mean evil, mighty evil. That you may lost everything you have. You may lost your mind. You may lost your soul. You may lost your spirit. Yet they will still come to you. Come with you. Come around you. Eat with you. Drink with you. But yet they are against you. That is the worst enemy. You know, sometimes strangers are not our enemies. That is why when you become more successful than everyone around you, the moment you become more successful than everyone around you, you come to understand that majority of them will start to misbehave. Majority of them will start to act funny. Majority of them will start to bring out some what, some ugly what, attitudes. Majority of them will start to bring out some ugly what, character. Some ugly character from one angle to another. Some will also do what, leave you. Some will also abandon you. Some will also reject you. Why? Because as long as you are becoming more successful, that means there must be something that you are doing that they can't do or you are you are not breaking record which they can't break and with that they will be annoyed with you and be frustrated you're going to say they will be annoyed with you and be what and be frustrated because what they are expecting everyone around them to be or you whom they are expecting never to be greater than them they see you doing well more than them it will surely annoy them so that is the reason why you need to understand. It's not everyone who eats with you is totally what with you. Sometimes our blood brothers, the moment you, you think about it, how, how, what is more painful than someone you stay with, you live with for 20 years, 10 years, 15 years at home. All of you eat together. All of you drink together. All of you bath together. All of you drink the same water. All of you eat the same food together. You grow up together. And at the end, the moment you become most, the moment God starts to bless you more than them, you're going to realize that many of them will, will turn against you. Many of them will start to do what? To plot evil in order for them to, to do what? To bring you down. That's the reason why you need to understand. It's not everyone who call you friends are really your friend. Be careful whom you do what? Whom you call your friend. You know, I do used to tell people this, and some of my friends will say, uh, why do you say so? Why do you have to say this? Why do you have to act in this manner? This is something like uh, disrespect or this is something like um, being arrogant or no. Listen, it's not being arrogant. Preservation is better than cure. If you are careful, you preserve yourself. It's more better than 
being hot and at the end you'll be looking medicine to solve it it's what i have passed through nobody is your friend on earth yes nobody is your friend on earth we have only people who can do their best for you we have friends that can do their best for you we have friends that can assist you we have friends that can surprise you we have friends that can do that can help you but if you are thinking that they are your friend that is when you are misquoting with everything that is when you are trying to do it to make it hard for you because the day you will get into trouble the day you will involve in one problem to another that is when you will realize that nobody cares about you you got what i'm saying that's when you will realize that nobody fucking care about you all care about yourself so you got what i'm saying so the issue is this it's not everyone around you are totally around you many are against you many are against you the moment you become more successful so the reason why majority of people will stay with you the reason why majority of people are still with you is because you are not doing more better than them believe me <laughs> The reason why majority of people who are around you today are with you is because you are not doing more better than them. And they are not doing more better than you. So the mo try your best and figure out this. Try your best to do more better than 75 of people around you. That is when you will discover who is totally with you and who is against you. And one thing is this. When you get into a problem, no, this is the particular thing that I know that I have get experience a lot because w when I have a problem, a huge problem in 2019, that is when I realized that the whole friends that I have that is up to 50, 40, only one is my friend, only one is a Mali man, a Mali guy. So, only him whom I know is my real friend, yes. I'm not saying he's not here, but I call where he come from. So I, I won't call his name, but the reason why I said he is the only one is because someone who stood by you when you have problem, someone who decide to stay with you when you are in difficult time, are, are the person you ought to call your friend. It's not when you are celebrating, when you have it, when you have everything, you think they are your friend. When you involve in problem, you involve in difficult time. That is when you will discover the real friend. You come saying the real friend, but when you still have money, you will, you people will still hate you. Why do you have money more than them? But the moment you are in trouble, discover, try to find out those who will stood by you. Those are the type of people you need to call your friend. You come saying so, you. Are the what the, the light that will figure out those who are in darkness with you? You got what I'm saying? So you must decide to do it to figure out those who are really with you. Because if you are thinking everybody who is around you truly love you, my brother, you need to reconstruct and recon check yourself, and you got to understand that 99 percent of them don't care, don't give a damn on what you are passing through. So remember, blessed brothers and sisters. If you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe. And if you feel like supporting your boy, your small boy is something, the link is always below. You know how we do it. So remember blessed. And if you are new, you are highly welcome. You are highly welcome. Remember blessed.